Cooler. Cooler is already playing, but a different game. <laughs> yeah, I think he he's finished with his matches. Can't catch you, know, you know what really grinds my gears? Well. If players don't have matching skins, <laughs> I, I, it, it, it drives me nuts. And I think it should be penalized with like five frags <laughs> per player. Three. The, it's, it's, no, no, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm starting out on, on the Canadian. Uh, Jane has the spawn at the railgun, and that also means that his team will have the, the range advantage. For the start, Ooh, both of the players good. are going to grab that weapon. And yeah, we have Doom Athena against Strong Ranger, so mobility is kind of equal. But yeah, the weapon distribution kind of uh, is not, because we have two rails against zero. And you can see that by uh, the way that uh, the ice climbers are moving around the map. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. big rocket. I will uh, close the prediction, by the way. Because, uh, we have waited for them so long to start that everyone probably has uh, bet their fake money. Okay. Oh, and Maxter. Yeah, this is this is the power of rails. We just saw two two players hit two rails. Maxter is the one who's picking up the frag. Um, yeah, that's the, just the power of not having the rail on the side of ice climbers and. Yeah, checks are out just guarding that weapon. Yeah. Despite Zanaku getting a frag, he <laughs> Well, he also stands and... still at some point, so he takes a sip of his coffee and then he's back. <laughs> yeah. Teams the thing is, time. by guarding the rail, they, they don't have lightning gun, but they have a shotgun, rockets, and they have the position for the power up, which will come now. And if that peeker is able to do damage, no, Zanaku is blindsiding him. Beautiful push with the shotgun, and now it's a. Almost a point blank onto the Oh, and he jumps and over go. the rockets! Oh, it doesn't hit the rail though, so he can't go for this mega elf. The heavy is there. But he doesn't. Yeah, oh, he has the shotgun. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, and the lighting gun. Or, or, oh, or the creep the beam. <laughs> yeah. Mexo. Mexo was going for a cheeky pick there. And if Zenaku didn't have the heavy, he probably got away with it. But he just saw the power of quad. 144 damage in like no seconds, so bye bye. But uh, yeah, uh, it's only two frags and only one frag advantage is probably the biggest story here for uh, Chexter. They were really avoiding uh, anyone of, of Ice Climbers during the power up run, too. And it's, uh, it's interesting again that like the ones who were hanging out at the quad spot were not the ones taking the, the quad in the end. Yeah, I think the problem was there that, that uh, Chain was isolated and it, he was a 2v1, right? The PK coming from Heavy and then Zeneku was just like, okay, I have shotgun. Hello, I'm here. And shot him in the back. And Yeah, and, and it's, uh, it's also the mid-range weapon they were missing. Yeah. yeah. So. And so, so, yeah, because one side wasn't guarded and Chain was one... Uh, V2, I think that's the way that Ice Climbers got into, and we just see that Jane and Max do a really good job at playing around that railgun, and you, they you, mitigated bro. the entire oh, advantage there, but Zanaku with massively two frags. Yeah, the late, late Halloween, uh, oh, the rocket. Nice. Nailed it. Yeah. yeah. I think if the Zenaku switches to LG, he, he might even not die, but in this situation you just shoot, right? And try to do as much damage because you have no stack anyway. True, and, and, li and like for the quad, uh, or the next power-up, you need fresh stack anyway. Ooh, Chang is barely getting away. Gets the rocket launcher, a light, and the mega oh, there. Mega. Yeah, yeah. That's a, I think that's a kind of a, a, a little blunder for, for the ice Oh, and he gets here. now the LG. So? Yeah, and now they have every weapon. And they just got both frags, so no railgun for ice climbers again. Only LGs and the HMGs to work with, but Zanaku is doing good damage here on uh, Chain. Yeah, and Toxic also does the work. Oh, they, they do such again. a good job at isolating uh, Chaxter, right? Yeah, One of them. Uh, like, this is the third time at least they fight 2v1. Make that four. Even though Chain here is able to, to bounce back one frag. Nice, all those uh, lightning guns for uh, Zeneku to pick up. Are gonna have a hard time yeah, they, they make a good job of, of uh, utilizing the strength of the lightning gun while 
not falling victim to the railgun too much. This is this has have, has been a good period for uh, the ice climbers here. Oh, and the heavy denial and massive damage as well. It doesn't really matter that Maxta gets the frag, I think, because there are no resources really. Still no armor, and Zenaku will just blow him up again. Oh, <laughs> this is his fourth. Someone check it, you see. This is ridiculous. Oh, and the clutch rail as well, but now Xanaku's weak and the heavy goes over to, to chain. Oh, and the pew pew gun almost gets the frag and I think Maxa could have just hung around. But he probably didn't know how weak Xanaku was here. Nine seconds till quad comes. Decent damage from Xanaku. And this time it's him being uh, surrounded by the opponents because Toxic can't give enough pressure onto... Your team has the quad. There we uh, go. Maxter, and this is the quad again. Power up for chain, it's a second. Yeah, not that much armor, so he will wait for this one. Oh, the rail from Tox. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, and Toxic uh, chain can't uh, can't die here. He has too much stack. Gets Toxic and Zenaku, and now it's just a one frag lead again. Mega health to boot, but the squad should be running out. No, it does not. Zenaku. Gets blindsided, beautiful shot and nice rotation from, from Chain here. But that also means Ice Climbers get the <clears throat> get the rail again. And now it's it's uh Chexter with no stack basically. Yeah. Like hanging out at the oh, Mega Elf and Yeah. We'll have a, an attack in bears by the Ice Climbers. It's beautiful pushes that the Ice Climbers play from time to time. Like, yeah, they move in unison, right? Bait. Yeah, yeah Pika as a bait, Zanaku moves in and the Pika gets destroyed and by the time Zanaku is, is being focused, Toxic is there to uh, dish out some damage and it's just working really well for them. Oh, <laughs> like the, 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 20, the 50 HP rocket jumps coming out. <laughs> yeah. Like screaming. Oh, look at the lightning gun from, from the, the LG monster toxic here. Beautiful tracking and almost kills an Athena that had like 270 stack in that fight. And again, beautiful use of, of the the utility and not even losing the heavy is kind of a messy because Xenaku comes up big with railguns and the orb. Messes up the final shot, but chain and toxic trade in the end. So close, like no, like even with the power ups, uh, there there is no gap oh, being created. Toxic is straight. I'm gonna walk in a straight line, and you will not hit a rocket. And Chain is like, man. <laughs> yeah, and here we are. Power up going over to uh, Ice Climbers is Anaku. Massive uh, stack now, and and wow, power up and protection to work. <laughs> the He's pixel basically like that that, that clip through the corner. <laughs> yeah. No kill shot though. Oh, and Zenaku is weak despite having the, the the power up, and it didn't really benefit him too much. Zenaku just tried not to give it away. In the end, they got a frag, but it wasn't like a, a, a massive run. They denied both majors as well, so this is kind of a decent uh, decent play anyway. And I think they got two lights on top of that. So up until the next upcoming rotation. They took away so many resources from uh, Chexter with just that with that protection run. And now Zenaku is being isolated and he can't survive for the Mega Health. Toxic isn't there to help him enough and I think this could be a stabilizing moment for uh, Chexter. Oh, the tribal is massive. Toxic clutches out a 1v2 here. Massive combat skills from the Swede. And it's still a 7 for a game for the Ice Climbers. True, yeah. And, uh, um... Like the pentagram didn't look that spectacular, but they did not give a frack away. Uh, earned themselves two or three, and uh, yeah, uh, a small margin of a lead uh, they are taking. And like it, most fracks were traded anyway. So if they just play the same like they are doing now, uh, they have the victory. Yeah, the the moment where Tox clutched out the two v one, if he doesn't get that. Chexter were able then to, to isolate, uh, to find a 1v2 twice in a row, 
and would not have paid a frag, but Toxic is just massively hitting, and all of a sudden, he clutches it out, and the, the moment that would have stabilized... But now Max are on. Oh no, he needs the frags. Like, this is a momentum killer, and he does yeah. not. Now he oh, dies. Oh, and try bolt again. This is such a nuisance, but they can't pick it up. Chain is the one having the power up, and Toxic can't really go up, but Toxic is using the try bolt so well here. Yeah. So it's much such damage. A nuisance. Yeah, like, like and also like, <laughs> okay, I'm doing the damage and you can't hit me. Like, uh, Maxter really had to go out of his way to get that kill. Chang, Chang was in no position to do anything with the quad. I mean, they went with a nine frag advantage into the quad. And they still have a nine frag advantage <laughs> after the quad. Yeah. And the opponent had the quad. I mean, they are both on, on life support, but somehow they still got a frag. And it looks like they get what? another one because Max <laughs> missed a still standing target. And now Toxic all of a sudden has 130 stack again. From 5 HP, he gets two frags. <laughs> yeah, and like, uh, the story oh. is, is so important. Oh. Oh, Max, yeah, that, that's that, how I aim LG. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's a 10 frag game now, and Ice Climbers seem to found a really good good approach for this map. Toxic and Zenaku both hitting really hard, having a lot of assists as well. Which shows that they are just working very well together as a team. Yeah, this is our, uh, their second tournament, and they have been uh, grinding a lot. Oh, Pentagram's coming up. Heavy is lying. Ice Climbers are not there. They're giving both items over to um, to Jackster here. And Chain now is trying to get something out of that protection. And he gets both major items, actually. He's finding Zenaku, but Zenaku is like, ah, oh, no. Orbing through the window. But Chain finds him again, and now it's massive LG from Zenaku. But yeah, well, it's only two damage per tick, so he probably need like 500 cells. Yeah, it's 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 also so rough if you don't have the LG when you have the pentagram. Like you want to get up close and do the mid rate damage, but uh, yeah, if you you don't have a weapon to do so. Yeah, and he also wasn't really close enough to use shotgun there as well. Can't catch me now. Oh, good rockets from Toxic. And Zenaku finishes it off, and again, they are ten frags up still. It's stable despite not having two power. I think. That might have been three power-ups, or even four in a row for Chexta. And Ice Climbers are not really uh, showing any any signs of <laughs> slowing down or having any troubles to deal with those power-ups. Yeah, only five frags to go. Oh, the peak of damage. Yeah, and we did see that Maxter and Chain really wanted to, to go for this uh, real composition. Yeah, and, and they protected it quite a long time. But they didn't get much out of it other than protecting it. Right? There were, it wasn't like a frag lead they were building with uh, that approach. Oh, Max are pushing in, and Chain is the one coming in clutch he, as he frags Toxic just after picking up the power up. And this is this is the dual die moment. There's two frags to go for Ice Climbers, and Chain needs the frags here. But Chain gets annihilated. 33 HP is left. He needs to be careful now. He's not available anymore. He will get the mega health as well, but he still needs to find frags with that power up. And he's missing the peeker. 360 no scope still hits the peeker in the end. And yeah, it's just two frags to go. They didn't get much out of the power up. It was just like two frags. And they barely survived. It feels like Zenaku with another shop slayer. Probably is like six or seven. And now, yeah, it's it's one frag left. And this is Max that they caught him off guard. And even the hooks can't save them.
Nice play. Very well done. Good teamwork from Ice Climbers, I'd say. Yeah. to admin duty. Sadly, none of the players has uh, enabled that they share their, their custom games on uh, the stats website, so we are not going to see any, any statistical information. Makes me feel sad. Left alone. <laughs> but yeah, it would really uh, nice. To s it would be nice to see how much uh, ability damage Toxic and uh, Zenaka were doing because it felt like they got so much value out of it in so many situations. Hello, Oliver. Hello, everyone. Yeah, this was well, uh, well. A, a nice uh, first map. And we go to uh, Z Mod Vaults. We won't see Tox on Slash, but the, the Crouch Slayer was uh, very effective. Yeah, Slash in 2v2 might be a little bit uh, hard to get away with if you're not able to control enough like resources. And I, I don't mean just the mages, but also light armors and health bubbles. Because she's so vulnerable in in, in those... The, yeah, in, like, if, if, if she's being cornered off the spawn without a weapon, like, she's always gonna die. Despite her speed, there's probably like no way she's gonna getting out alive. Uh, she's gonna be getting out alive there. So I can understand uh, why the light champions have not been played on Awoken, simply because of the map size, right? On Molten, it's different. We probably will see someone playing Anarchy because it's not banned, right? It's just scale and slash. So, I see someone changing to. Elena and Zanaku the strong people. But oh. yeah, that's only in the menu. Right? You are allowed to switch when you are in the map. Yeah, I think the 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 biggest advantage for Galena is that she one totem will grant the team a hundred health. If you don't have like if you have fifty or below on both of the players. Whereas Anarchy's Injection will just give one player 50. Yep. The upside is it will give all the stake immediately. Oh, clutch. Really? If... Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah. <laughs> we see Chain on the on the Anarchy. And I was I was really wondering um, if nobody was going to pick him up. Because at least in duo, he's really, really good here. And I still think that in 2v2, he can do uh, some magic as, as well. Yo, Odin. Good casting is today. <laughs> By the way, round begins. Uh, yeah, let's uh, Three, start with uh, two, one. Who? Zanaku. It's Zanaku. It's Zanaku. Yes. It's Zanaku. Yeah, and they get a mega spawn, and Zanaku is immediately uh, establishing dominance, facing the railgun with a starting machine gun, and trades 40 for nothing. And now it's, yeah, they push forward and Chain, oh, gets completely crushed by a rocket from Zenaku, but Zenaku is now caught between a rocket and a hard place, and Maxter hits the necessary shots to save his teammate. Oh, flick rail onto the peeker. Oh, but this time it's Toxic saving his mate. And here we go, Heavy goes over to the Ice Climbers. They can't get their hands on the railgun consistently, though. It seems like Maxter always has it. The Toxic will have enough uh, to try to override. Yeah, he, he, he was just baiting Ouch. this, right? <laughs> oh, but why, why did he swip, swap to the railgun there? Because now Toxic doesn't even have to push chain. And he can just defend his position. 
over here at the heavy. Look, they just got like so much out of that play from Toxic. Because it, it meant that Chain died, so the light armor on Anarchy was gone. They got two rails now, and they got LG. And the heavy. And two frags. Stonks are going crazy. <laughs> no, it's an LG fight here between Maxter and Toxic. And Maxter again takes out the railgun, and it doesn't even matter that Chain is getting caught because Toxic kills him in the end. Good damage beforehand from Zenaku. And here we go. Ice Climbers back in the lead. Power up in the hands, but this time the heavy armor is not in their hand. And this is kind of a lifeline, because unless they are facing Tox, they will have a good fighting chance with the resources they've got. Well, Toxic got no frags out of it. Yeah, such a defensive play, but... Uh... Okay, yeah, he, he didn't give it away. Let's start with that, but uh, it would have been nice to uh, get a few frags. And now Zeneco is on his own. And they lose out on the heavy. So yeah, on the whole, not the best squad run. Yeah, I think they, they had more fear of, of losing it to a struggle to, to an anarchy. Uh, that they played so defensive that they didn't get much out of it. But on the other hand, Molten is a rather big map. And <laughs> Yeah. It can be really hard to find an opponent, even if there's two of them. Maxter finds Zenaku, though. And, yeah, they get heavy again. Chain is picking it up, and... Oh, Maxter is fighting again, and he again chooses the rail, and... Toxic is punishing that consistently so well, though. But he gets revenge, so in the end it's traded. But I do think, like, Toxic is a little bit less aggressive. Like, he, he's now playing the VQ3. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's slower, right? That means he can't chase as fast. But also, if he's out of position, he will be slower to get out of there. Next, on the other, on the other hand, secured heavy, but Toxic! Oh, the boomstick is just too good from the Swede here. I, I thought he would be dead for sure, but Maxter just. <laughs> just <laughs> Maxter is, is uh, like, okay. He, he does fight. Where, where's the protection? Where's the go. Nice. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, well okay. it, it, it is. Than yeah. over, right? Oh, Toxic couldn't get the trade. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, that that's a heartbreaker to be honest. Stop watch. Yeah, so s still no uh, one or no team really moving out of the way uh, score-wise. Uh, nice read from Maxa. And like we did see, oh, oh. nice, we did see Erdl Maxter attacking a bit on his own, but he, he still <laughs> slided back into the action to get the refrag. So he doesn't give them away. Oh, they need to push that. Yeah, yeah but they, they don't know, right? Not exactly. I mean, they must have heard the scream, though. They weren't that far away. Oh, and now Chain is in a very, very dangerous situation. But fortunately, he manages to move out because the peeker is there to block any forward progression from Zanaku. That should have been a frag for the Ice Climbers. I think they will be. Uh, if it goes down to one frag, this is one of the, them. I should have gotten, probably. Yeah, this oh. is such a <laughs> such a positional based map actually. Like they they keep at their own corner. They yeah, peek and then will, retreat. If you will see a totem stack at one point. The way the game is developing now, I mean that totem will probably be removed farther uh, sooner than later. And there we go, it's gone. <laughs> the ring out spots. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know the shotgun had that much knockback. <laughs> oh, and there's no one of, of checks the hit. And that's 280 damage to the kill. Oh, and another frag. And yeah, now they will get heavy position as well. Oh, massive damage. That was on the peaker. Good use of the peaker. Oh, nice. This is. Oh, oh but chain. No, chain Ball actually. Was super clutch play. And now he's got the railgun. He can use inject and just bull rush, basically. This is now in scale of key. Because he, he won't, like, give a shit and just rush in your face. 
Yeah, sadly he does not uh, hit that rail. Or else he would have gone in two frags from the quad. Oh, but Toxic, yeah, doesn't really have a weapon to fight, so... Yeah, they still get a net plus of two uh, out of those uh, quads. Oh, oh he Toxic stood up on <laughs> the ledge so far that he stood on uh, Chain's head, and this is where Chain didn't go on the bounce pad. And then Chain shot the rocket into the wall and damaged himself towards 9 HP. Brilliant. Just, <laughs> just stand on the bounce pad. <laughs> I'll give you a to kill yourself. Oh, nice. Oh, but yeah, now Zenaku needs to find HP without taking any damage. There is a totem at LG, which he will use to stack up, and Toxic, in the meantime, lands two beautiful rails. Maxter is using the Pika, and Toxic, yeah, he, he knows that, and lands nice. back to back rails again. Like, Zenaku is a distraction, and Toxic just snipes everyone yeah. from a distance. Beautiful 90 degree ambush there between the two. What was the totem? <laughs> Stop but Chain is there to save the day, can't yeah. Oh no, and this time he is, is caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, ch toxic. Ooh. Important frag. But yeah, Maxter still got it. And Maxter is not the healthiest. Picks up the Mega though, and this kind of gives him the right to push, but oh. The knockback is enough to, to deny him the ledge grab. And I think that's the this, this was clutch. Oh, the shot fell. Maxter. Massive uh, reaction time there. So you mean he was real slow? <laughs> yeah, really slow. <laughs> 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 At the moment I said that, yeah. I realized it as well. <laughs> that it didn't make much sense, but... I mean... It's fine. Sometimes, sometimes you have to roll with it and, and just just embrace <laughs> embrace the crap. <laughs> no, okay, but it's a two-frag lead and I think this is... Okay, it's not anymore. I was just gonna say it's the biggest lead we have had in quite a while and it's, huge. it's gone already. <laughs> Yep, both teams move pretty well and both show like similar levels of teamwork in this map. There's not like, uh, th there are not as many moments where the Ice Climbers are able to um, yeah, to separate the, uh, one of them from the other. Now we just found one, but I think that was probably also a bit calculated simply because of the, the little stack that Maxa was working with. Mega goes over to the Ice Climbers and they find Chain and land a rail of Toxic. Back to back again, man is hitting. The man has already six impressives as well, so he's really hitting the rails. Make that. Yeah. But Max has seven, so Max is bad. You know, important frag there for Max. And another one important, getting a, a low HP frag onto. Oh, him. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, he, he does get the ring out again. With, again, tactical suicide. <laughs> Yeah, and, and this is a situation where uh, Ice Climbers certainly won't complain about ring outs. I, I, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Look at this, the landmine coming yeah, from that, above. That was, that was, that was like th uh, throwing a basketball from uh, from from high up, down, below, and, and hoping it hit. Oh, the nail gun spam. Look at the damage nice. output there. But Toxic again with the tri -bolt. Oh, and the lightning gun tracking again. Massive damage output. The heavy is almost completely gone there for Chain and... Zenaku added on top of that. But Chain again got the frag. And I think that... The, 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 that's like the third low HP frag that Chexter were able to get out of this uh, map so far. And uh, kind of the difference, right? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful to see. But yeah, no one was again not walking away. There's so much trading, even more than in Awoken. Uh, 
and uh, oh, do see two uh, to totai? <laughs> what? Totemses. Totemses. Max are getting a Pika kill. Oh, Zenaku is not getting hit by the rail, so he can push forward. And he oh. double rails. Earns himself the mega. Yeah. And that's a well deserved uh, major item, I'd say. And they are. Yeah. Two, two totems down, so Toxic now will have Totem Overstack for the team. This is the moment where it all paid off. To pick Galena. And here we go. Both get the 50 Overstack from that Totem. And they, 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 the two at LG are still up. Zenaku is speeding forward. But he can't find any of them. There we go. Maxter is trying to fight that, but I wonder why he didn't back off. Now Chain is pushing in. 1v2 again, and they can't have, they have no idea how much stack Zenaku is having, it seems like, because they think they can fight this, and again he gets healed by the totem. This time it's only 9 HP. But Toxic is, Toxic is fighting off the two for long enough. So, yeah, Zenaku can, can come in and, and save him then, on the other hand. And here we go, that, that power-up run combined with the totem actually was super massive for... Uh, yeah, and, and also don't forget the right? It's 25 yeah. health uh, after every fight. Oh, and he drops down and now he will get... What? Nice. 150 HP. But he, bye he, bye. Yeah, I think he, he, he just saw the, to the totai, the totem shoes. Yeah, but he can't get there. It, does he communicate it? No, I think he only got rid of one of them. Like Max, I mean. Oh, and Shane again is going to fall. Zenaku is hitting everything at the moment. Getting the Mega. And now it's a run for the Heavy. The, no, the Totems are still up. And that means the next one Toxic is placing. They will get 100 stack each again. It needs to be 38 seconds from now. But here we go. Toxic uses it. And both have... How, how can they not... Oh, this is... No, and they, they're really not aware of it, and this is costing them to get the map yeah. and, the, and the series. Stop watch. Incoming quad. And he still sits on 90 HP. Oh, no, the ring around the Rosie. <laughs> quad is coming up, and Max the... Yeah, that rail needed to be hit, otherwise they had a probably a hard time, and now Max decided to stop hit anything at all. Chain has the power up, but Chain can't move. He's weak. Mega is coming up in five seconds. Oh, Maxa clutch frag, and this should mean that Maxa actually is able to also get the heavy. No heavy still up. Chain can't get a, a single frag with that power up. No, the only thing he did is uh, a bit of damage. Oh wow. Yeah, but they only have one minute left, and yeah. they need eleven frags. And here we go, totems again. Toxic by now has just. Just by those two totems, probably healed the team at around 500 HP. Because I remember Zenaku taking it three times at least. He takes it a few times. And now they can take them again. Yeah, here we go. And that's another 100 HP healed. Like... Yeah. What can you do? <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, like, I mean, Chexter probably like, hey, we control Mega, how do they have that much stack, right? Yeah, yeah, but at some t point, you, you need to oh, make, make the calculation and yeah. just go out of your way to... Uh... Yeah, finds one. yeah, but Toxic has the third one up again, and this is it. Yeah, there's no way they, they're gonna win, because time's running out, five seconds left. Toxic gets the last frag. And just another overheal uh, from the totem. It's like they, they have it for uh, like at least eight minutes. Yeah. Once they had the, the two at the LG, that that was the, the game changer. Once they had those two set, they got totem over stack like two or uh, five times probably. That was very, very well uh, controlled from uh, Ice Climbers there. Towards the end, it was just absolute dominance because they had so much resources they, they always had a little bit of armor and they always had overstack on hp both of them